You know, folks, with the new release of GPT-4.0, the free multimodal version of GPT-4, OpenAI and Mr. Sam Altman have once again made headlines. I have to admit, the GPT-4.0 is truly remarkable. Its ability to recognize objects on screen through the vision feature left me speechless, not to mention the voice synthesis. But you know what? There's another AI that's just as amazing, which I talked about a few months ago, and in some benchmarks, it even beat GPT-4. I'm talking about Claude 3 from Anthropic, folks. Specifically, today we'll see Claude 3 in its Opus version, the most advanced model design for highly complex tasks, in action against the new gem from OpenAI, GPT-4.0. So, watch the whole video, folks, because I'll be talking about some very interesting challenges and tests that the two AIs have undergone, including logical riddles, descriptions of an image, game-related prompts for creating video games, and more. As always, I'll start with a brief introduction to the two AIs so that you have a clear understanding of what we're talking about and the basic differences before moving on to the juicy tests. So, GPT-4.0. This model extends GPT-4's intelligence across text, voice, and vision. For instance, GPT-4.0 can analyze images, understand and discuss them in real time, and, you know what, even handle voice-to-voice -voice interactions with nearly instant response times. So folks, GPT-4.0 uses the intelligence of GPT-4, plus it has more multimodal capabilities, and drumroll please, it's free. Now, if you're wondering why you should pay for a GPT-4 subscription, well, paying users have five times the number of possible interactions with the chatbot. In fact, free users of GPT-4.0, once they run out of possible interactions, will default to using the free version 3.5. Now, moving on to Claude 3 Opus. This model from Anthropic is the most advanced version in the Claude 3 family, designed for highly complex tasks. It excels in accuracy and deep reasoning capabilities, perfect for intricate task automation, research and development, and strategic analysis. The other two members of the Claude 3 family are Sonnet and Haiku. Sonnet strikes an ideal balance between performance and speed, making it suitable for enterprise workloads that require both efficiency and intelligence. Claude 3 Haiku, on the other hand, is the fastest and most compact model in the Claude 3 series. It is optimized for near-instant responsiveness without compromising accuracy. I guess it's perfect for applications where speed is essential, like customer interactions and content moderation. Okay, folks, now that we've covered the basics of the two chatbots, let's see what they're really capable of and how they differ. 1. GPT-4.0 vs. Claude 3 and the Apple Test In the Apple Test, the LLM is asked to generate 10 sentences that end with the word Apple. Now, language models like these often find this kind of task tricky and can't always hit that 100% mark. I think it's a great way to see how they handle specific, constrained language tasks where their creative and syntactic abilities really shine. Prompt. Generate 10 sentences that end with the word Apple. GPT-4.0. Claude 3. As you can see, both GPT-4.0 and Claude 3 Opus stumble a bit on the Apple test. They could only come up with 9 sentences that ended with the word Apple. I guess this shows that even the most advanced AI still have their limits when it comes to specific linguistic challenges. 2. Logical riddles. The two LLMs are asked logical riddles with this prompt. Prompt. Six brothers were spending their time together. The first brother was reading a book. The second brother was playing chess. The third brother was solving a crossword. The fourth brother was watering the lawn. The fifth brother was drawing a picture. Question. What was the sixth brother doing? This riddle seems a bit tricky to figure out. Here are their answers. GPT-4, Claude 3. Now, GPT-4.0 cleverly picks up on the context and suggests that the sixth brother is playing chess against the second brother, since chess is a two-player game. On the other hand, Claude takes a more cautious approach, noting there's insufficient information to provide a definitive answer based on the details given. You know, I truly think it's interesting to see how each AI handles the ambiguity of the scenario. 3. Summarization GPT-4.0 and Claude are asked to summarize a research paper about a facial recognition system. Prompt. Review this paper in 200 words. Include all the important content and give the summary in a bulleted format. Here's GPT-4.0. 
And now Claude 3. So if we look at the outputs produced, GPT-40 provides an accurate description of every section, capturing all the essential content. In contrast, Claude only gives a brief overview of the paper. I guess this shows that for summarization tasks, GPT-40 outperforms Claude Opus with its more detailed and comprehensive approach. 4. Description of an image. In this test, the models are provided with an image of the Marina Bay Street circuit in Singapore and asked to describe the image. Prompt. Describe this image. GPT-40. Claude 3. Now, for image description tasks, both models performed equally well. Each AI was able to recognize the image and provide adequate information related to it. I guess this demonstrates that when it comes to describing images, both GPT-40 and Claude 3 Opus are on an equal footing, uh, delivering similar levels of performance. 5. Game-related prompts. Okay, I love this one, folks. You know, for this test, GPT and Claude are asked to code the snake game in Python. Prompt, code the snake game in Python. GPT-40, Claude 3. As you can see, folks, the user interface of the snake game created by Claude is much more appealing than the one created by GPT-40. Additionally, Claude's game includes a score counter, which is a feature that GPT-40's game lacks. Obviously, this makes Claude's version not only visually more attractive, but also more functional in terms of gameplay. 6. Text Generation of course, for this test, the two AIs are asked to generate text about the same topic. Here's the prompt. Prompt, give me a 200-word essay about the advantages of Python over C++. GPT-40, Claude 3. Here, the new GPT-40 seems to provide a more structured and formatted answer compared to Claude. It broke down the explanation into five key points, detailing how Python is better than C++ for each one. You see, folks, the response was simpler and more pleasing for the user to read because everything was well organized. For text generation tasks, I think GPT-40 clearly outshines Claude. Now, before the last test, folks, subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you like this AI benchmarking and found it useful. This way you will not miss the next AI news and you would have helped me so much in continuing this work. Moving on, next we have number seven, general knowledge. For the general knowledge test, the two AIs are asked questions about being able to check their answer on the internet. In this case, two questions are asked. Here's the first one. Prompt. Is Taiwan an independent country? GPT-40. Claude 3. Then here's the second question. Prompt. Explain the concept of quantum entanglement in a way that a 10-year-old could understand using analogies and examples. Here we have GPT-40, and here we have Claude 3. Now, as you may have seen, the first question was about the controversial matter surrounding Taiwan's independent status. GPT-40 did a better job providing numerous points related to the issue and including various standpoints that contribute to this controversy. The second question was about the concept of quantum entanglement. The models are asked to explain it in a way that a 10-year-old could comprehend. Once again, GPT-40 outperformed Claude. I think the example it used was much simpler for a child to understand, explaining how it relates to quantum mechanics and discussing key points about quantum entanglement. Claude also provided a good answer, but I guess GPT-40's response was more engaging for a child and covered the concept thoroughly. Conclusion Okay, based on the comparison provided, I guess it is evident that GPT-40 outperforms Claude 3 Opus in a wide range of tasks, including summarization, text generation, and general knowledge. I mean, both models demonstrate impressive capabilities, but I think the latest GPT model emerges as the superior one, excelling in most of the evaluated areas. Anyway, in case you missed it, folks, a few days ago I talked about OpenAI's impressive presentation demo of GPT-40. You can see the demo by clicking on the usual card that will now appear in the upper right-hand corner. Okay, with that being said, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming AI news and help me bring content like this. Plus, if you really want to give a bonus helping hand, share the video, folks. See you in the next one, folks. You all take care.